please listen carefully everyone here today i will start with the abstract abstract what is the abstract means the abstract is the keyword the abstract is a keyword what is the main purpose of the abstract keyword means common common reusable common reusable purpose common reusable purpose common reusable purpose what is the abstract means the abstract is the keyword and what is the main purpose of the abstract keyword means common reusable purpose here using abstract keyword using abstract keyword using abstract keyword we can represent the we can represent the first one is abstract classes and the second one is abstract methods abstract classes and abstract methods okay now first one what is the abstract classes means what is the abstract classes means the combination of the sorry what collection collection of the collection of the abstract methods abstract methods and the concrete methods abstract methods and the concrete methods are called abstract classes abstract classes syntax syntax abstract class class name within the abstract classes we can define abstract methods comma concrete methods and before abstract keyword here the abstract is a the abstract is a fully 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 unimplemented structure of the unimplemented structure of the unimplemented structure of the method declarations an implemented structure of the method declaration what is the uh, unimplemented structure of the method declarations then i will discussing later here it is a abstract abstract class contains abstract methods and concrete methods is called abstract classes the abstract class contain both abstract methods and concrete methods here what is the abstract methods abstract methods abstract methods means fully unimplemented structure of the unimplemented structure of the method declarations unimplemented structure of the method declarations are called abstract methods example example sorry syntax abstract 
uh, wide method name example abstract wide method name is km right now this method contains any body Chaudhary, this method contains any body no no without the bodies of the methods without the bodies of the methods and it is also we can write one more no problem or without bodies of the methods are called abstract methods without bodies of the methods are called abstract methods okay it is a clear actor sir the abstract classes is a collection of abstract methods and concrete methods right now i know abstract methods without bodies of the methods is called abstract methods i know what is the concrete methods means Concrete methods means fully implemented structure of the method declarations, method declarations are called concrete methods. Concrete methods, fully implemented structure of the method declarations, or with the bodies of the with the bodies of the methods are called. concrete methods syntax syntax like a uh, public wide method name Example public wire ABC. It is a concrete methods with the bodies of the methods is called concrete methods. Previous classes. What I am discussing like a polymorphism concept, inheritance concept, what I am defining that methods are concrete methods. Previous classes I was discussing any method, that methods is nothing but a concrete methods. Why means previous each and every method I will declare the bodies. That methods is called concrete methods. Concrete methods. Okay sir, abstract class is the okay. Abstract method is the okay. Concrete methods is also. And what is the concrete class? What is the concrete class? What is the concrete class? The collection of the collection of concrete methods are called concrete classes within within the concrete within the the concrete classes contains 
only concrete methods don't define sorry the concrete classes are the concrete classes are doesn't support abstract methods abstract methods okay now example class a it is a concrete classes see that concrete class it is a class it is a class and it is also class but uh, the abstract class contains both abstract methods and concrete methods what is the abstract methods means without the bodies of the methods is called abstract methods and with the bodies of the methods is called concrete methods means within the abstract class we can define both abstract methods and concrete methods but within the concrete class we can define only concrete methods don't define any abstract methods and also the concrete class it will not support a abstract methods the concrete class it will not support a abstract methods is it clear to everyone alpesh any doubt alpesh Chaudhary? No, I'm clear. Okay, JPS? JPS? Narsin? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, thank you. Pranin? It's clear. Yeah, thank you. Here, that is the First one is like a abstract methods and the second one is abstract classes and the third one is concrete methods and the fourth one is concrete classes okay now it's a clear and one more then go for example each and every point is a very very important point please listen abstract class abs it is a abstract class save abs dot abs dot java here I will define like a in tax is equal to 10 and root f is equal to 45 and here I will define public wide a public starting wide main Sorry, within the static where static block we can allow only static variable. Mm. No, we can define non static. Next one is
here what is the abstract method and here what is the concrete method Abstract word. Sorry. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, uh, okay, you, you, I mean, you can say it. Uh, I was going to say that abstract void C is uh, abstract method and public void is uh, concrete method. And a total of how many concrete methods are there? Right now, abs.java. How many abstract, sorry, how many concrete methods are there and how many abstract methods are there? Uh, public static void main is also a method, right? Can you say it a method? Okay, total how many yeah, concrete two, methods? Two, two, yeah. two concrete and one abstract. Yeah, correct. What are their? Public void A and public static void main. Yes, totally two concrete methods and two, sorry, one abstract method. Right now this class is a concrete class or abstract class? Class is a? Abstract. Abstract it class. Has the, both, yeah. yeah, the abstract class contains both abstract methods and concrete methods. Concrete methods. And also, how to access the, how to access the, like a one more very, very important point. We can implement a, we can implement abstract methods. We can implement abstract methods using concrete classes. Concrete classes. What is that then? After I will discuss it, no problem. No problem. Leave it. Right now. How to act, how to implement the A class? How to how to implement the concrete methods? Then I want to A method. How to? Then right now I will compile CMD. What is the class name? Java C. ABS dot Java. Then successfully it will be compiled. Java ABS successful output it will be generated. Then how to get the output of the concrete method? Narsin? Yes. How to implement so the I, concrete methods? Yeah, you already get the output like x uh, equal to 10, which yeah, is hello. Concrete, concrete method. No then I want to A class, A method, like I want to concrete method A output. Oh, okay. Then how? So uh, I think you should write system out dot print ln and maybe A or I don't know the common. A is a, a, is a method or a variable, Narsha? It's a method name. Then okay, to access the method name, it is a static method or non-static method? Uh, is a non-static method. Then how to access the non-static method within the class and outside of the any class? Oh, uh, with an object. Object. Okay, which class object? Uh, a class object. Like it. A okay. class or ABS? Okay, if you want to go, you want to write in the main method or void method A? Yes. Right now this is yeah. the object yeah. or not? Yeah, it's object. Object of which class? ABS class. ABS class, yes. But uh, it is not possible. It means using abstract class name. Using abstract class name. Using very, very important point. Using abstract class name. It will not possible to create a it will not possible to create a object. Okay, sir. It's a clear. Means how to implement the thing. How to implement the properties of the 
abstract classes means using how to implement the properties of abstract classes means abstract classes means to extends to a to extends to a concrete classes concrete classes how to implement the properties of abstract classes means to extends to a concrete classes to extends to a concrete classes and one more if the for example like okay, is it possible to implement the static properties within the abstract class anybody within the abstract class is it possible to implement the static properties or not see that it is a static property yeah i i don't know i don't know about it i don't But need of object i don't need of any object as i know machine yes i am not creating any object because a is a static property the static uh -huh. properties within the main method directly available yes hello f means here what is the my point is within the abstract class contains abstract class contains non static properties non static properties to extends to a to extends to a concrete classes and the final point is within the abstract class abstract class we cannot implement the we cannot implement the con we cannot implement the non static properties non static properties we can implement the we can implement the non static properties of the non static properties non static properties of the abstract class compulsory need for compulsory need for compulsory need for concrete classes concrete classes and one more very very important point is to implement the to implements the to implements the abstract methods you can implement the abstract methods compulsory need for compulsory need for over riding concept over riding concept without over riding concept without over riding concept we cannot implement the we cannot implement the abstract abstract methods then here see that right now any doubts this class gps any doubts of this class 
Narsin, any doubt? No, I don't have doubt, but uh, here uh, we use abstract borrow, which is the abstract yeah. method. How to so implement this method? Mm -hmm. Every here, what is the main concept means? How to implement the abstract method C or not? Narsin? Yes. How to here? Then easy to implement the static methods and the non-static method. Here, for example, like it is a non-static method. How to implement the abstract methods means then go for concrete class. I can see what extends area. Is it clear, Nasheen? Yes. Right now, C1 contains what are the properties? If we have extra class properties. What? Like C1 contains, uh, C1 two has... Two variables, one abstract method and one non-static method. Yes. The total properties are available within the C1 using extends keyword. Yes. Yes or no? And yes. one more is, and the concrete class, it will be support only. The concrete class or it will be support. What is the concrete class? Narsin, see that? Yes. yes. What is that? Collection of concrete methods is called concrete class. The concrete yes. class contains only concrete methods. The concrete class are doesn't support abstract methods. Yes. But uh, right now C1 contains abstract method or not? Yeah, it contains. Using extrinsic keyword. Yeah. The abstract class ABS contains one abstract method. That is a C. Yeah. But using extrinsic so ABS, the total ABS properties are it will become to C1 or not? Yeah, it should be. Then within the C1 is a concrete class or abstract class? C1 is a concrete. What is the concrete class? Collection of concrete methods is called concrete classes. Yeah, but now the it has a uh, non, yeah, so it should be abstract now, it's abstract class, the class C1. No, like at that time, public. Because abstract class is a combination of abstract method and abstract classes. But yeah, now since, yeah, since uh, C1 contains all the properties from uh, AVS and which has abstract method too. Yes. See that the ABS contains one abstract method. The abstract class contains so the abstract class it will be support abstract methods and the concrete method. Okay now, but the concrete class the concrete class it will not support the abstract methods. The concrete class it will be support the concrete class it will be support only concrete methods. But using extrinsic keyword, using extrinsic keyword, what are the properties are there within the abstract class? The total properties are, it will be comes to under C1. But the ABS contains one abstract method. The ABS contains one abstract methods. Using extrinsic keyword, the abstract method, it will be come to C1. But the C1 is a concrete class. The concrete class, it will not support a abstract methods. We can use overriding concept to implement the abstract methods. Compulsory need for overriding concept. Right now, here also method C is available. Here also method C is available. Then, already the subclass method contains C. The extrinsic keyword is provided to a C within the C1 or not, not seen. What do you said? Already the subclass contains C method. Yes. But it will be possible to access the abstract method ABS into C1? No, I don't I don't think it should go C because it should uh, consider the local one first. 
Yes, already the subclass contains C. Mm -hmm. But uh, within the subclass, the method is available. Yeah. And here also superclass also contains C method. It is the overriding yeah. or not? Yeah, it's, it's overriding. Yeah, it's overriding. Okay. Yeah, it's overriding. Here, here I will not define this method. I will not define this method. Then it will be successfully compiled C1 or not? It should not, since you said why? that uh, it why? has an abstract method. Which class? In uh, FBS class, extra class. Okay, the C1 is successfully compiled or not? I think it should not. Why? Because of that class, uh, because it's not overriding and there is an abstract uh, method. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What? Why? Why? C1 is not compiled. It is an overriding concept. It is okay. Yeah. Because uh, there is no overriding uh, concept if you, uh, you know, undo this, uh, I mean, comment this uh, method, so then it will not uh, make like overriding concept. And then since there is an abstract method, so and then C1 is a uh, concrete class, so it should not have any abstract method. So that should maybe make a problem. See that, then I will compile right now. See that what is the exception? Java 3, C1 dot Java. One minute, one minute, sir. What is the exception? Please read this one. C1 is a not a abstract. C1 class is a not abstract. C1 is a concrete. C1 is a not a abstract. And it does not override abstract method in ABS. Right now, overriding this method. C is the overriding in the C1? No. Then no. compulsory can provide the overriding concept. Then here, okay, C1 Sorry. Yeah, but uh, I mean here uh, here, public void C, I mean the method C is a concrete uh, method, but in yeah. the abstract class, uh, C is a, an uh, um, abstract method. So, yeah. it's not a problem. Maybe here, here is an using extern, method. Yeah, using extens keyword, the ABS contains one abstract method, yes or not, not saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But using extens keyword, the abstract method is, uh, it will be accessed to C1. Yeah. Okay now. But the C1 it will not support the abstract method. Yes. No, I'm yeah. saying that mm, I'm saying that their uh, method name C uh, it was for abstract method. But here method name C is for concrete method. So Yeah, concrete method. Because mm -hmm. overriding concept. It's just the name. Yeah, method name is C. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Thank you. Then finally I will discussing that what is the output of, then go for an example. Java C1. It's a clear nursing. Yes. Okay now. And see that. For example, like a everyone please listen. Very, very important point. Abstract class here. It will contain like a uh, GHMC. Not a GHMC. Mm, okay. Save JHMC dot Java. And within the abstract class, we can define a non-static methods. Means concrete methods are useless or used. That's it. What do you say? Within the abstract class, I will define one non-static method. It is a useless data or use, use data. I think it, it, it should be useful. You can use static or non-static both, right? Okay, static is, is okay. Without object, that is not a purely object-oriented yeah. programming language. Yeah, then, yeah. What is the use of main method? The main method is also useless within the abstract class. Without object creation, without object creation, that is a useless uh, uh, concrete methods. Okay. 
Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Okay now. Then simple. JHMC contains upstart wild managers. Upstart wild employee. Total of how many abstract methods? Two. Two abstract methods. Then go for another one. Abstract class. Metro rail. Within the metro rail, I will define to abstract wide stations. Metro rail. Save. Total, how many abstract classes are there? That's it. Yeah, G H M C. There is two, and the new one that you just created. There is one. Two are there. J H M C and Metro Rail. Is it clear? Yeah. Next, go for like a. Uh, then I want to. Uh, BJP. The BJP contains BJP compulsory need for how many metro stations are there in Delhi and how many JHMC managers and employees are there within the JHMC. Is that clear? Narsin? Yeah, BJP yeah. government. The BJP state contains how many metro stations are there within the Delhi stations and how many managers are there within the JHMC and how many employees are there within the JHMC. The total details are compulsory for BJP party. BJP party. That's times JHMC. What is the meaning of this state? What is the meaning of this one, Narshin? Yeah, now it has the properties uh, from all the uh, from the class of GHMC. GHMC total how many abstract methods are there? It has, it has abstract two. Methods. Managers two. and employees. Mm -hmm. The two abstract methods are it will become to BJP. Yeah, but you, you should have overriding them, right? Yeah, yes, yes. Public, wide, what is the method name? Managers. Manager and employees. Here, within the body, we can define any data. Mm -hmm. Methods but can are as your wish. But, can, uh, but you cannot do, uh, do abstract methods since this class is concrete, right? What, 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 Narsin? No, I said that uh, you can do overriding, but uh, you cannot do overriding exactly like abstract. You cannot make another abstract method. Yeah, because it's an abstract concrete the, class. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, abstract method means and concrete method name. Both are same. Yeah. Okay now. Mm -hmm. Next. Managers like a Navi. Managers Java. And one method is up overriding. And what is that? One more employees. Public wide employees. Employees are. Yeah, one minute, one minute. 500 employees are there. Then PJP P1 is equal to PJP P1 
b1 dot managers b1 dot m class then java c bjp dot java see that method name is employees employees here you will give the employees yeah or uh, tell me that shit yeah, I'm saying that uh, here uh, for the overriding uh, method name, uh, is, uh, can we remove the public? We can just use buyer and manager. Is it possible? What not say? Just to wait, employee? Yeah, can we remove the public? Just uh, have buyer employee? Is it possible? Yeah, possible. No problem. Because default worker is and yeah. as a public. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Mm -hmm. It's a clear. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is a concrete method mm -hmm. and it is a abstract method. Mm -hmm. And means within the project, anywhere, any case, you can using JHMC, the managers and the employees are common methods of if uh, this application. The managers and the employees are common methods common data in my project or in my application. Yeah, uh, I understood the concept, but um, I don't know why we are using the abstract class. Uh, I mean, in, in the abstract method. Uh, what is the advantage? Let yes, Managers and the employees are common methods of my project. For example, like yeah, one minute. Yeah, I know, but why we are creating, uh, making an uh, abstract method, why? I mean, we, could, we could directly use uh, uh, as a concrete. Yeah, directly you can use, but yeah. common reusable purpose. Yeah. One Maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah. In, in the next class, we can see that. I will. I will. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Interface. How to use in React. See that public wide eat under travel. It is abstract methods or concrete methods. Narsin. Yeah, it just uh, I can just see the screen now before I didn't see. Okay, what is that? Public void. Yeah, it's an abstract. Abstract uh, without the bodies without the bodies of the methods is called abstract okay. methods. Yeah, but my question was uh, like, why why we need abstract methods? I mean, I understood that word is called abstract, and I understand that you can, can use you can yeah. use any abstract method name. Uh, yeah, but why we need abstract method? Is it useful? Yeah, one minute, one minute. Uh, here, one method. Method. here, it is a method name. It is uh -huh. abstract method or concrete method? Which one? The public board is an abstract method. Like here, come to this class. Okay. Public class 
mom into implements animal here animal is a class and it is a abstract method within the abstract method what is the common of animals it is a eats means here also the abstract methods is a azure wish the methods contain group of statements we can give any method name within the abstract class we can to access the to access the that method outside of the class then we are providing the bodies yeah i have another question like in the ghmc um, classes you said that abstract class it should have abstract method and concrete method, but here you don't have any concrete method. My requirement is then I will create only abstract method. In case you can define, we can define concrete method. Yeah. That concrete yeah, method is useless. Without object, uh -huh. what is the use of to declare the concrete method within the abstract yeah. class? Yeah, I understand, but in the definition you said it's a collection of uh, abstract method and concrete method. If in your requirements is collection of abstract and concrete math that we can define okay. no problem okay so like noted uh, of requirements what is the use of concrete methods that's it okay. what my requirements i want to only two abstract methods then i will define two abstract methods in case i want to two abstract method one concrete method then i will define one abstract two abstract methods one concrete method mm -hmm. depending okay, upon so in your requirements Depending upon in your requirements, then you can create a within the abstract class that properties. Okay, so I mean in the abstract class, we have to have abstract method, but uh, yeah. I mean so we can have a concrete uh, or we may not have concrete. Yeah, may not yeah. be. Yes. Okay. You can in your, your requirements is concrete methods. You can define you can define a concrete method. No problem. Yeah, but abstract method is compulsory. Yeah. Yeah, abstract mm -hmm. method. Without abstract methods also no problem. What is the purpose of the abstract methods? Common reusable purpose. Okay. For so then, the abstract method also abstract class is okay. You mean? Yeah. Okay. In case, one minute. My project contains 100,000 dot Java programs. 1,000 Java programs. Within the 1,000 Java programs, if any class we can use, managers managers that is a abstract abstract method if any person see the if any person see the that method name okay this method is a common method of my project common method of my project that is the meaning of abstract methods if any application for example, like a, a Facebook username and a password. Yeah, okay. If the, if the username, if the username and the login page username, both are same. The username and username is a common purpose. Then we can define it within the methods. Then within the methods, we can define any data, no problem. Is it clear? Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Ram. I got my answer. Thank you. Yeah. That is nothing but like a. In case, Within the BJP class, I want to I want to manager's method and employees as well as station method is also available. Then is it possible to GHMC comma? Is it possible? Is it possible or not? Anybody? Uh, can I see the Metro Rail class again? Yeah. Sure. Is it possible? One class extends to multiple classes. Uh, I think you have to write separate statement. I'm not sure, yeah. but I'm just thinking. Yeah, I, I think that's not possible. You have to write se separate statement. Because it is a multiple inheritance. One class extends to multiple classes. Java doesn't support a multiple inheritance. Yes or no, Praveen? Yes. Java support a multiple inheritance? Praveen? 
Java support a multiple inheritance? Um, Java doesn't support a multiple inheritance. Yeah. Here, what is the multiple inheritance? One class extends to multiple classes. Multiple class, classes. But Java doesn't support a multiple classes. But I want to station method. I want to station method. Where the station method? Metro rel. Then simply extends metro rel. Right now, JHMC contains how many abstract methods are there, Pravin? Two. Two. And using extends keyword, the metro rel one of the abstract method is there. The one abstract method is also it will become to JHMC. Yes or no? Yes. Right now, JHMC contain how many abstract methods? Two. Three. The metro rail contain. Oh yeah. Three. three. Yeah. yeah. The abstract structure. The data using extends keyword metro rail. The metro rail data it will becomes to JHMC. JHMC contain how many abstract methods? Three abstract methods. But the JHMC it will be extends to a BJP. Right now, the BJP compiles are need for how many methods of overriding? That's it. Yeah, now we need to uh, for the station also another overriding. The BJP class, the BJP class compulsory overriding to three methods of GHMC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Like a white stations like a Because uh, okay, yeah, I have, I, yeah, I have a question. Like in the yeah, in the metro rail, you have the station and which is abstract. But when you extend to the abstract class, sorry. One minute, one minute, one minute. Metro. Yeah, tell me, tell me. In the metro rail class, you have um, you have one abstract method. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but you extend uh, GHMC to the metro rail, and then yeah. in that case, it has another uh, uh, abstract method. Do we need to override here in the GMC? Yeah. That yeah, yeah, you need to override. No problem. No problem. Do That's we need why. it? No, I'm saying, yeah. do we need it here? Is it compulsory? Yeah, no need of import keyword. Sorry, no need of overriding. Overriding here. here. Okay. Yeah, the metro okay. line, the total properties are it will come to JHMC Narshin. Since it's an abstract class, that's why we don't need overriding. Here JHMC. Yeah, no, I'm saying in the metro rail we have uh, the abstract method, but in the abstract method, uh, if we want to use another one, then we need to like override. But in the JMC we didn't override because it, uh, metro rail is an abstract class. That's why. Right. Because you said it's not compulsory. Like we can do, or we, if we don't want to. This one? Mm -hmm. Okay, no. No, no, I, I didn't say it. I said, like, yeah, like, uh, can we reuse it? Like, like yeah, I know, in the construct class that we. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, do we need to react to do this, or? The JHMC is overriding to which class? Metro line. It extends to not overriding. Yes. To but uh, the metro rail contain one abstract method. Using mm -hmm. extends keyword, the JHMC it is the abstract class or concrete class? It's an abstract class. Within the abstract class, no. you can define concrete no. methods and abstract no. methods. Yeah. Then I will override to within the abstract class content. Abstract class I will override. What you said? That's it. Yes. 
that JHMC is overriding to Metro Rail or not? It's not overriding. It's extend to Metro Rail, right? I mean, class okay. cannot override. Yes, station is also abstract method. To implement uh -huh. the abstract methods, compulsion need for overriding. Then I will define the overriding. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It is, uh, you said it's compulsory, but we didn't write before. That's what I'm saying. Okay, and it is optional or no? It is no need. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Then simple v1 dot v1 dot stations. Okay, now Narsin. Yeah. What is the next one? Metro Rail. One minute. Mm, Metro Rail, where I am saving Metro Rail. Metro Rail, save. Metro Rail. Java C, star dot. Okay, now Delhi, because it is a like a B1 dot station within the BJP stations method is available. No, go for super class station method is available. That station method it will be executed in BJP class. Here, the JHMC is a JHMC is a abstract to subclass. And Metro Rail is a abstract to super classes. It's okay. Yes, Um No, because Metro Rail is a subclass and GMC is a super class. JHMC is a subclass and Metro Rail is a super class. This class. Because you are uh, carrying property from the metro rail, right? Yeah, JHMC is the abstract class or super class? Sir, it's an abstract class. Abstract to subclass is a JHMC and the metro rail is the abstract to super class. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, now. And what is the main purpose of the abstract keyword means? common reusable purpose within the abstract class we can define any abstract methods we can define any abstract methods that abstract method we can use any location anywhere if any project if any project okay now and also we can implement the abstract methods Compulsory need for overriding concept. We can implement the abstract methods. We can implement the abstract methods. Compulsory overriding to concrete classes. Concrete classes. Here, how to implement the means? Here, abstract methods, so there is no any bodies. We are providing the bodies to. We are providing the bodies to abstract methods. We are providing the bodies to abstract methods compulsory need for one concrete class. We are providing the bodies of the abstract methods compulsory need for one concrete class. Within the concrete class, we can define only bodies. Within the concrete class, it will not possible to define the it will not possible to define the abstract methods. Right now, BJP is a BJP is a concrete class. Within the BJP class, I will define any abstract method? No. Within the BJP class, I will define only I will define only concrete methods. It will not possible to define the it will not possible to define the abstract methods. Using extends keyword, using extends keyword, the JHMC properties are it will become to BJP. But the BJP is a concrete class. If the BJP is a concrete class, the BJP contain only concrete methods. The BJP within the BJP, it will not possible to define the abstract methods. That is the reason. That is the reason 
to access the method name to access the method name managers to access the method name managers within the concrete class and within the body we can provide the any data okay na? here concrete class contains manager method and jhc also contain manager method it is a overriding concept okay na without overriding concept without overriding concept it will not possible to implement the abstract classes of abstract methods abstract classes of abstract methods simple logic new like a abstract wide names save a dot java then go for another one c to x times a c to dot java here a class contain one abstract method a class contains one abstract method then to access the using extends a using extends a the a class contain one abstract method the one abstract method using extends keyword it will be comes to c2 but the c2 is a the c2 is a concrete class then right now i will compile java c c2 dot java what is the exception c2 is a not abstract c2 is a not abstract and it does not override abstract method names okay now means c2 is a not abstract within the c2 compulsory need for overriding here already see that c2 is a not abstract c2 is a not abstract class and it does not override abstract method names in a right now there is no any overriding concept like a simple why method name is method name is a abstract method name within the bodies we can provide any data system dot out dot print alone is equal to java like a sap it is a non-static method then C to C is equal to new C to constructor semicolon C dot names. Java C two, but without abstract also, without abstract also, we can implement the program. No problem. java understand means what is the purpose of the abstract classes means common reusable purpose for example like a then i will take one project that project like a a b c e a comma b comma c the three properties are common the three properties are common if every java program of the my application a comma b comma c are common properties of every java program in my application at that time what are the common data what are the common fields in our application in our project the data we can define the within the abstract classes to access the abstract classes anywhere any location anywhere any location if any person if any person to develop that application easy to access that properties but real time using very very important point using abstract keyword it will not develop the it will not develop the standard standard 
लोन एप्लीकेशन स्टैंडर्ड लोन एप्लीकेशन ओके ना वाई मीन्स द एब्स्ट्रैक्ट क्लासेस आर doesn't support multiple inheritance multiple inheritance the abstract classes are doesn't support a multiple inheritance to overcome this concept to overcome this concept using interface okay now that is nothing but a if any queries very easy to there it is a concrete class here abstract to wide run represent the abstract incompatible abstract class name make a abstract class abstract method abstract wide sum it is abstract method then abstract to each and every one i will mention clearly okay now the concrete class are used to specify requirements the abstract class has is fulfill common requirements and the object of the concrete class can be created directly the object of the abstract class cannot be created directly the concrete class contains fully defined the methods and implement the bodies the abstract class have both undefined methods and defined the methods okay now let's see yeah the concrete class contain fully define the methods and implement the methods the abstract class have both undefined methods and defined methods means the collection of abstract methods and concrete methods okay now that is a abstract keyword that is a syllabus any doubts chaudhary no then if you any queries please ask me alpesh ha hello sir okay no, thank you and choudhary no gps hello sir hello sir thank you gps ibrahim narsin no yeah, no problem ya yeah, pravin no doubts ya yeah. if every person uh, suffer to this concept because it is a real time it is a real time uh, uh, the abstract keyword and interface keyword is uh, using real time applications that is the reason it is a very difficult after first go for my application or if any material already i uh, will give that material in online please read that material and please practice the program of the abstract keyword please understanding that concept without abstract keyword without interface keyword it will not possible to understanding the servlets and jsp and jdbc simple what is abstract methods means without body of the methods is called abstract methods the abstract class contains the both abstract methods and concrete methods that is a simple logic how to define that law operations okay vishal yes mohan and the day after and day after tomorrow i will start with interface concept okay 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 so it is very important right interface and concept is very yeah. important yeah. Yeah. what is the difference between abstract and interface very 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 important point what is the difference between abstract and interface without abstract and interface interview question that is not a technical round if you can go for spring hibernate servlets advanced java if any concept compulsory for abstract concept and interface concept 
if any person if any queries then please ask me if you uh, then if any queries any time then please forward that mail address uh, you know my mail address then that query please forward my mail address then i will give that reply okay no okay 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 anyone is having any doubt in our seen any doubt any doubt no for that struck i'm completely clear thanks yeah because it's like uh, the thing is like although you feel like it's like why should we create and again and again it's the same class and you know that too is not useful but uh, he is teaching because uh, the thing is like it's mandatory to understand some of the things to consider an advanced concept so i know that you can't digest it till now you know that why it is used and what is the use of it in real time right but that was like once you go further maybe it's like you will know that why it is used and why he has taught you that thing, right yeah yeah so be patient so you will know that why it is being taught right maximum people are not understanding this concept i think no it's like basically around the utility of this concept i mean to say utility of this class it's not been understood by the people that why they are creating again and again if they want to work uh, whatever ram um, ex yeah. explain about the abstract class i think uh, everything is clear it's uh, clear it's clear at your end uh, and yeah. the utility yeah, uh, uh, yeah. is that what is uh, utilization of this class uh, mm -hmm. once he goes with an advanced concept right mm -hmm. so yeah he he also explained that yeah because basically whatever we are studying is like it's for the practical environment whether it is it is being used in practical environment or not right that's so is our concern right mm -hmm. so no worries is like he's going to teach you in advanced concept that why it is used why he has taught you and yeah so you can i mean to say also google it up everything by your side right uh because it's the, it is a thing is like it's a not one way thing is like both the way the approach should be same so the thing is like right now whatever the program he has and hand on thing because it's actually working inside the project right but i want you all guys to be a uh, uh, hand on like him right if someone tells you to create a class to create some of the logics right so you should be able to do that thing not like because understanding wise it is very easy but when you go to write a real code if you don't have the practice you know you just need to refer it again and again scroll up your books and everything right so that too we don't require that thing please try to practice every code write some code at least you know in eclipse or ide netbeans whatever note uh, notepad plus plus or whatever you are downloaded just keep on practicing it right because this code should be hand on right you if someone tells you something it should be in your mind okay fine i don't need to refer the websites or the books for writing that code right that's so my concern is and yeah do anyone has any kind of the doubts because listening honestly won't help you right practicing will only help you chaudhary yeah i i completely agree with bishan Yeah, frankly, frankly, say that you are understanding around this concept. Frankly, say that. Oh, this one. Yeah, I, I think I got almost eighty percent of the complete. Yeah, uh, 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 I, I used to. Repeat, I am repeating the same thing. It's like uh, understanding wise, everything is easy. But once you go with the practical world, it's really hard. You know, it's like uh, at that time you need to perform, and if you don't have the hand-on knowledge, everything is waste. At that time. at a time it in the single in the single class it will not possible to understanding concept we can practice that number of times easy to understanding if every concept yeah at a time it will not possible to understand the concept and also guys uh, please do practice on the simple code of the sql right a very next phase would be of uh, and sql right where uh, there would be the data connections and all so go to w3 schools start learning the sequels as well so we don't need to teach you the primary thing that how the data is being segregated how to create the tables how to i mean to say uh, at least the sequel part you should be clear 
to start I will, I will, ex I will explain Vishal. I will explain that concept yeah but it's like creating the tables in a sequel it's like they should have a little bit of basic knowledge of the sequel right uh, because uh, that, 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 that because uh, that every programmer has two prime requirement right one is a uh, data language i mean to say it's like once one thing you should learn that is a database and next a programming without a combination of this two you would be able to grab the job in us to be very honest so start uh, go through w3 school start learning the basic concept of the sequel right parallel what's the link uh, it's a w3 schools you can google it up w3 yeah w3 say that okay and also heaps of the videos are available in youtube right uh, so you go on uh, those videos also and try to grab these uh, concepts of the sequels, right? We don't want you to uh, study in advanced things in the sequel, but at least a basic thing you should know. Because the employer is also <laughs> going to ask you that whether you know the sequel, give me some, I want to create some tables. Uh, just you need to know basic syntax, right? Which, I'm not asking you that you should be through with that. Which module in the W3 website? Which module do it's you want? W3 school, you just scroll up, right? You try to uh, grab the concept as much as possible. Okay. The rest of the things we will take care of, it, right? Okay. Don't worry. But that too, that should be with uh, Java itself is very big, right? Uh, we won't be able to complete it uh, even in a month, right? So, you know, it's like uh, if you think uh, in a positive manner and if you practice side by side at your home, the things are going to be very easy or otherwise after one and a half month when someone tells you in a job that do this thing you won't be able to do that thing you know so keep on handy concepts and uh, keep on handy codings right you don't need to think if someone tells you to do this or that right that sort of the thing should be with you and Vishal yes uh, tomorrow I'm available Vishal is it possible to take my class or not uh, it's like uh, everyone uh, wants to take the class for tomorrow or they want uh, the break. Please tell me. Put in your chat that uh, are you going to come by tomorrow or not? Because, because if it yeah, is, I, I will do I want a break. Sorry? I said I want a break tomorrow because uh, once in a week. Uh, All right. so, yeah, once in a week, I think. It, I mean. Mm, yeah. I okay, okay. Let us wrap okay, up the break for tomorrow because they are attending to come on, uh, okay, okay. to Saturday. Okay, come to day after tomorrow. Come to day after tomorrow. Please, once again, please read the abstract concept. Without abstract concept, you cannot understand the interface concept. Hmm. Okay, then and uh, tomorrow, guys, uh, practice the abstract concept and also parallelly start a little bit work on SQL, right? Okay, anybody without a yeah. concept, you cannot understand the interface concept. Without interface concept, you cannot understand any surveillance and uh, JDBC concepts. Before I will intimation to all of you, without abstract class, without abstract concept, you cannot understand the interface concept. Without interface concept, the remaining data which is surveyed, so the data is a the silver is useless. What I am discussing in the classroom. Okay now. Okay, Vishal. Okay then. Okay then. Uh, we are ending the meeting for now. We are going to meet okay. by Monday, uh, same time, 8 p.m. Eastern time, right? Please, guys, don't be absent in this class, right? You won't be able to grab the concepts. And it's like it's very short time. So please understand the importance of that. Be on time every time. Sometimes it happens on our side that is a technical difficulties, right? Or the tutor is not. But you should be able to come always, right? Because it's like here we are making your tail, right? Thank you.